，一包只要七十五元。So we have business to attend to in Kaohsiung. One of the things I'm doing is getting my residency. I let it lapse, but um, I've got all my paperwork, and I'm hoping to get the process. Well, I'll get the process started. I may actually get residency this trip if I'm lucky, but I'm not counting on it. So here's my bank, the HSBC, the Hong Kong Shanghai Bank. What I'm trying to do today is get a mortgage. One thing I like about living in Taiwan is the signage. The way they name things in English, it's so cute. Here is the Rabbit Brunch. What a great name. And here is Bird Tea. This was just from walking around today. And at this place, the pasta enters your life. You got to like that. I like it when pasta enters my life. Actually, I don't like it. I love it. I love it when pasta enters my life. So another thing I like about living in Kaohsiung is walking. In Canada, I do walk around when I'm not working, but most of the time I drive. And of course in the winter time, for about three months, it's so cold you don't feel like walking anywhere. So after being in lockup and averaging about 26 steps a day it's like 11 o'clock in the morning and already I'm over 8,000 steps it's not like I'm trying to walk 10,000 steps a day it just comes naturally when you live here and that's pretty good and here is my average number of step I took during quarantine on average a day I took 163 steps that's pathetic even in the wintertime in Canada I take about 5,000 steps a day. You know they say you should take 10,000 steps a day. Look here. On Sunday, I took 54 steps. 54. But then today, I made up for it. Nearly 20,000 steps. Wow. I hadn't realized it was going to be this hot. I wasn't I'm not ready for it. It's like a 30 degree difference from where I left and where I am. 30 degrees is a lot. You feel it. I feel my pores opening up again. All that dryness from the Canadian winter is long gone. It's pretty great.